I've got a lot of people who tell me, a lot of friends say to me that they don't know who they're going to vote for, they think they might skip this election. Um, I hope you guys don't, I hope you don't skip this election, because uh, this is a very important race. We have up ahead, uh, our choices this November are between someone who's got a long career in working on behalf of others, and someone who's just kind of wants to be in power for the sake of being in power. Um, I'm talking, of course, about the North Carolina race for governor. <laughs> Uh, so tonight we're going to go into part two of our four-part series, Get Rid of McCrory. <laughs> or, I have beef with Patty. <laughs> uh, so the way this works is, uh, let's, go, let's go ahead to the next slide. Last, week, last time we did this segment, we talked about voter ID laws. Um, so good news on that, in the time since we've taped that segment, uh, the Supreme Court is uh, they took their case about voter ID laws. McCrory was spending taxpayer money, hiring lawyers from outside of the state, trying to get uh, people to still have voter, bring their IDs with them to the polls. The Supreme Court said, you can't do that, it's discriminatory, so that has been struck down. So that is the good news on that. So now uh, we have to decide what we're going to talk about next. So let's go to the wheel. <laughs> All right, so here's how this works. Uh, before we spin it, before we spin it, this here's how this works. We've got a wheel that uh, on all the things I have beef with Patty on, and <laughs> we'll let it decide what we talk about tonight. So there's Amendment 1, which was the measure uh, trying to put more restrictions on gay marriage, uh, which he supported before he got to office. The Syrian refugee ban, his endorsement on Trump, uh, him cutting Medicaid, the coal ash spill, House Bill 2, the bill tax incentive cut, teacher salaries, and voter ID laws, which we've already talked about, but I didn't take it off the wheel. So if that's what the wheel lands on, we'll just do that segment again. We'll just talk about, we're at the mercy of the wheel. Whatever the wheel says, we will do. All right, so let's spin the wheel. All right, teacher Stout, we're going to talk about uh, education budgets in North Carolina under the recording regime. Let's go to the next slide. All right, so McCrory's running for re-election, and generally, North Carolina's been at the bottom when it comes to teacher pay for the past four years, and he made a bold move in his ad. He released his new ad called Truth, and in it, he said teachers in North Carolina are averaging $50,000 a year. Now, <laughs> now, here's the thing about running for office, and we'll call this the Trump principle. When you're running for office, you can literally say anything. You can say anything, you can lie about anything and get away with it, anything except you can't tell, you can tell people anything except how much money they're making. Yeah. Because they know that. <laughs> That's a stat they have off the top of their head immediately. You said $50,000 and immediately people went, no, no, I don't, who's making 50000 I don't have it. So the people who are making 50000 are basically the teachers who have been in it for the longest, who have master degrees, have been at the top of this for, but basically they're benefiting from things from before he got into office. $50,000 is the cap. Teaching, starting teacher salary is 35K. You work in this for long enough, you get a master's degree, you stick around in the same school for 30 years, then, then, you can make $50,000. But that is not the average. Uh, next slide. All right, so here's what happened. Uh, McCrory got to office with a Republican General Assembly, and North Carolina was in, was in a huge deficit. That was they inherited a huge deficit. So they said, what are we spending money on? And they looked at this chart and they said, oh, public school and colleges. We don't need those, right? That's taking a huge chunk. Can we do with less of this? Can we do with less of the learning in the state? So then they immediately started doing all kinds of shortcuts they could to slash the budget of the public schools. They cut money to the uh, UNC system. Uh, started putting people in charge of the UNC system that keep the money low. Uh, next slide. All right, so North Carolina right now is 41st in the state for teacher pay. <laughs> We're 41! We're 41! We're 41! Which is kind of an improvement because in 2014, we were 47th. <laughs> so this is that Carolina comeback before he was talking about. <laughs> Just eased our way up six spots. <laughs> so even with so with this, even with the improvements lately, uh, they had a recent tax, they had a recent pay hike, which still didn't put them back to pre-08 uh, levels. Uh, even with all of this, teachers in North Carolina are making ten thousand dollars less than the national average, and everywhere else in the state is aware of this. So they're being highly vetted, they're being highly recruited. 
Uh, so roughly one out of five teachers in the state, they're leaving, they're going to play, they're being recruited by uh, Virginia and Texas. And if you want to, I'm going to repeat that because that didn't seem to like rattle you guys. <laughs> Teaching in North Carolina has gotten so bad that people are willingly leaving North Carolina to live in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Because your educational system is so good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> the state they give us W. They're going there. Because all the teachers are making, I guess, sixty thousand dollars. <laughs> Pretty close to it, yes. That's awesome. Yep. <laughs> I like having a. I like. I, I'm not even being sarcastic when I say this. I really do like the idea of having an audience fact checker. <laughs> I'm not even being funny. I'm gonna be like, I'm like, no, that's true. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Um. So, here's the thing, uh, so the states aren't funding the public schools, the states are cutting the budgets of the public schools, so now the public schools are squeezed, they're not able to provide school supplies for the teachers. The teachers are right now currently buying their own school supplies. Uh, in 2013, the stat was teachers in all over the country in public school spent $1.6 billion of their own money buying their own school supplies. Now that's insane. A lot of them are uh, a lot of them in order to raise money for school supplies are going to Kickstarter, they're raising their crowdfunding, which is a shame because only really sad, desperate people go to crowdfunding efforts. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame. Take that down, next time. Just take it down. Just take it down. Those webcams are working out great. <laughs> So now they're, this is insane, our teachers are spending their own money, they're crowdfunded until they have basic supplies in their schools, which is nuts because we, can't, we don't do that in any other profession. Can you think of any other public service where you're asking these people that do this public service on our behalf to go to, crowd, to go to crowdfunding sites, to use their own salaries that they're not having a lot of, to pay for their supplies? For more on that, uh, we're going to bring you up uh, one of the firefighters from the Wilmington Fire Department. Sean Masterson, everybody. Sean Masterson from the Wilmington Fire Department. Uh, yeah, have, have a seat. So. You've been doing this two years, folks. Two years. <laughs> um, a little bit, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of, yeah. I think you're going to be okay. Oh, you're not going to do it. There's nothing you can do for that? I'm off the clock. All right. <laughs> Now, uh, you've been a firefighter in the uh, in, uh, Wilmington area for a while now, um, so, thanks, Hadley. Uh, <laughs> we got the best audience in the Wilmington history. We got the custodian. <laughs> now, uh, tight ship around here. now, if I understand this correctly, do you, are you guys, you guys are kind of doing like a community outreach thing, like you guys are in need of some funds? A little bit, a little bit. Uh, we, uh, we have no money. Okay. Uh, uh, you were talking about teacher salary. On average, in North Carolina, firefighters make thirty-one thousand dollars a year. Jeez. Okay. And you, so are, you're spending your own money on some on, on supplies, right? Oh yeah. So what do you need? Like, um, you need like hats or what do you what do you? Need? Oh no no. Okay. Need a new truck. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, so a new truck. So you have one right now. You have a. No, we don't have a truck. <laughs> no, they repoed it. Okay. <laughs> They took the dog too. <laughs> Dogs. Go it's gonna be like six hundred to get the dog back. Okay. No, he he bit somebody. It, it, was, bad. it was bad. Okay. They took the truck. What was he supposed to do? He bit him. And, uh, he needs a rabies shot. We didn't know that was a thing. Uh, <laughs> okay, but clearly you have bad. you have no you have no truck. Uh, you have no dog. Clearly you have other equipment that you have right now to fight fires. No. no. So if fire breaks out right now. What are you doing? We're standing around a building uh, with like buckets at this point. Oh yeah, okay. We don't have a dispatcher though, uh, so we don't know where we're going. We just know there's a fire. That's it. Oh my God. <laughs> how do you how do you know when there is a fire? I mean, do you get an alert somewhere on a computer? Or we get a text message. Oh, you got Yeah, yeah, we get a text. From the uh, people that are that their house on fire? No, no, the chief of police. He's like. I don't know what you can do, but something. Does he like send you a pin for the house? So you know, Google Maps. He tries to send, send us a Google Map thing, but uh, we don't. We can't afford to pay our cell phone bill, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just do like a, hey, there's a thing. So we're like, all right. 
If we see it, if one of us sees it on the way in, then cool. If not, sorry. So you only really attend the brightest fires. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do that. We're the ones that are most in need of rescue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If we can see it from the firehouse, you're good. I mean, I say you're good. We have buckets. <laughs> do you have anything in the buckets? That's clearly. The I mean, it depends on the day. It depends on the day. If, it, if it's raining, it's, 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 I mean, it's on. I mean, uh, we were fortunate this past weekend. Greenfield Lake over flooded. <laughs> that was very important. So we, were, we were out there with, with Jim's truck. We put a tarp in the truck. We were pouring the water in the truck. Uh, you know, for a rainy day. <laughs> you know, but, okay. Uh, <laughs> but unfortunately, it's been sunshine in the last like three days. So yeah, that, the water's gone. That's so, um, so, so, okay, so you're, you're, you've got a Kickstarter right now. If I yeah, just yeah. got a Kickstarter. Um, so. The Kickstarter is, and, if, and correct me if I'm wrong, you need a new dog? We need, well, we gotta pay to get our dog out of jail. Okay, okay, you need, you need a truck? We need a truck. You have the fire station, though. For now, yeah. All right, so you need to make it. Well, we, we made September rent. I don't know what I'm telling All right, um, so what, is, what are the perks? If we donate to the campaign, what can we get from, what can we get from the fire department? I mean, maybe you're... <laughs> I guess that's a pretty good incentive. That sounds big on extortion. <laughs> it's a beautiful house. It'd be a shame if something were to set on fire. Such a shame. You know, there's electrical fires every day. And fires. So you get texts every day? Huh? Every day. We just don't know what to do. That's another thing. We need training. Okay, so. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, please check that out. Kickstarter.com backslash. It's got like a small goal of 1.2 million. It's not that far to get. Uh, we'll get there in no time, guys. If you can just donate an entire year's salary, that would be fantastic. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be whatever the tier one thing is. I'll donate that much. Well, that's $500. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> just heard it, guys. He donated already. It's done now. Right. Can't take that back. Right, Sean Masterson, everyone. Sean Masterson. So, Kim, we don't treat our fire departments like we treat our teachers. We don't treat any other place that are public services like we treat our teachers. So, Moving forward, going to this next election, keep in mind that this is someone who's treated education like it is a bottom priority and treated it like it's nothing more than a huge expenditure on taxpayer money, freeing up taxpayer money for more convenient things like <laughs> lawsuits that have been HB2 and voter ID laws. Yeah. So that's why this summer, we need, this November, we need to get rid of McCrory. Now, this because of the Kickstarter is DonorsChoose.org. This is a Kickstarter which is like purely for education, so if you guys want to check that out later, you can pick different schools in the area, pick specific classrooms. They just say things like, hey, we need glue, we need rulers, we need such and such, and you choose which of those persons. So just, if you want to check that out, uh, lend a hand, because until there's more spending on the, in the public schools, it's going to be on us. And that's the Get Rid of McCrory, everybody.